All right, here's the method. Uh, if we're going to generate the volume of a solid of revolution using the cylindrical shells method or cylinders method. Uh, as we discussed last time, when you integrate area, you get volume. And in this case, area is going to be defined as length times width of our infinitely thin, uh, infinitely thin cylinder, which turns into basically a rectangular piece of paper. And the circumference 2 pi r plays the role of the length of our piece of paper. And the height of our cylinder plays the role of width. Length sum width gives us the area. So 2 pi shell radius gives us our circumference circumference and then 2 pi radius times the height gives us the area the surface area of that infinitely thin um, cylinder which approximates its vol volume so for the method the way i kind of like to do these problems and, and maybe you develop your own but it's, this is a nice kind of solid step-by-step -step way to do it is i draw a 2d sketch and identify the shell radius and the shell height um, Oftentimes I find it helpful to do it that way because when you're identifying the radius, it will help you find what variable you're going to integrate with respect to, because uh, as you're changing that radius to fill the entire volume of the solid, that's going to be the, the steps, whether it's in the X direction or the Y direction, that's going to be the variable you're going to integrate with respect to. And that's going to be what you want all of your expressions to be in terms of. Next, once you've done that, uh, identify your limits of integration. And again, hint, that's where your radius starts and then ends. Um, washers, you typically would have to use the entire shape. Whereas if you're doing the cylinder method, typically it's half the shape, unless you're rotating around a different line, usually. Then you need the entire shape. So it's half of the shape about, if you're doing it about an axis and it's, then it's the entire shape if about some other line. If you're rotating about, say, the line equals y equals 2 or something like that. Uh, and then you integrate, filling in the information into our formula. And as always, you could, uh, if you're doing it in terms of uh, y, this could be dy if you're as needed.